Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thanks for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to knit with straight needles this beautiful little cardigan sweater for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger from a newborn baby and up to three years old. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box as well. Thank you for your support. Now let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. To knit this little sweater, I'll be using these three millimeter knitting needles. Now I'm going to be using circular needles, but you can use straight needles. And I'll be using this wool. This is La Mia Merino. This is a number two yarn. So what I did here is I made up this cake and what I did is I also added one strand of fingering yarn. This is a number one yarn right here. So it's a fine yarn. This here would be the equivalent to DK weight, eight ply, or number three. So that's why you're going to see me uh, working with two strands. So here, let's get started. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to cast on our stitches. Now, we need to cast on a total of 60 stitches. With both needles like this, we're going to measure our yarn. So wrap the yarn around 20 times. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now remove this from your needles. We have enough yarn here for about 20 stitches. We're going to double it up. We have enough for about 40. Double it up again. We have enough for 60. And I'm going to add a little bit more. So I'm just going to double it up again like this so here we have enough yarn to cast on at least 60 stitches we're going to have a little bit left that's okay it's best to have some left than to have to redo this part again so now make a slip knot here insert both needles now this is the yarn that we just measured and this here is coming from the skein open up the yarn like this and we're going to go from left to right like this now this is called the long tail cast on. If you prefer to cast on your stitches using any other method, that's fine too. Now this is how we're going to continue until we have 60 stitches. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished casting on my stitches. I have 60. Now here at the end, just tie a knot. Oh, now this part here is done. Now carefully pull one of the needles. Now here to start, we're going to knit this little sweater from the neck down. So the first thing that we're going to do is the neckline. So to do this here, I am going to knit this first stitch here and all of the stitches that follow we are also going to knit. So we're going to knit across like this. Now continue for this first row where you just knit every stitch. I will meet you at the end of this first row to show you what we need to do next. I finished the first row. In this row we just knit across. Now we're going to turn and here we're going to knit for the second row like this. And this is all you're going to do for the rest of the second row. Just knit across. Now for rows three and four, you're going to repeat the same thing. So continue. I will meet you at the end of the fourth row. I finished the fourth row. Now we're going to turn now what we're going to do next is we're going to make a buttonhole here at the beginning. This little sweater is for boys, but if you're making it for girls, then you can add your buttonhole here at the end. If you don't know the sex of the baby, uh, then just make it how I'm going to make it here. It doesn't really matter uh, in my opinion. So 
I'm going to add a buttonhole here at the beginning. So to do this, this is going to be the fifth row. We're going to knit two. We're going to yarn over. Now knit two together. And knit one. Now from here on, these five stitches is going to be my button band on this side. So I'm going to place a stitch marker. Now in this first row, we're going to begin our pattern. Now this pattern consists of making repeats. Each repeat has six rows. So this is going to be the first row to the first repeat. So let's get started. To begin, I'm going to purl two. Then I'm going to yarn over. Purl two. Yarn over. Purl two yarn over and that's all we're going to do for this first row continue i will meet you here seven stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this first row to the first repeat i'm here at the end of this first row to the first repeat i have seven stitches left i'm going to yarn over and i'm going to purl two now place a stitch marker here to mark these last five stitches. These last five stitches along with the first five stitches, we always knit no matter what row we're in. So knit five here at the end. Now, if you're making this little sweater for girls, this is where you would add your buttonhole. Now, at the end of this first row to the first repeat, I have 84 stitches. Now from here on for the first repeat, you're always going to have 84 stitches. Now for the second row to the first repeat, we're going to knit five. Pass your stitch marker and here we're going to knit two, purl one. Knit two, purl one. And this is how we're going to continue to the end of this second row to the first repeat. Like I said, at the end of each row for the first repeat, you always have the same number of stitches. In this case, it's 84. So continue like this, knit two, purl one, to the end, I'll meet you at the end of the second row. I'm here at the end of this second row to the first repeat. Now pass your stitch marker here at the end. We have these last five stitches. We're going to knit two, and here is the yarn over where I did my first buttonhole. Now this yarn over here, I'm going to knit through the back. This is so that there is not a big hole left. If you want to have a big hole, then just knit it through the front, and as you can see, there's a big hole. I'm going to add little buttons here, so I don't need this to be too big, so I'm going to knit this through the back like this. And now we're just going to knit the last two stitches. And here is our second row. Now turn for the third row to the first repeat. Knit five. Pass your stitch marker. And for this third row, we are going to purl two, knit one. Purl two knit one. Again, purl two, knit one, purl two, knit one. And this is all we're going to do to the last seven stitches. I will meet you here at the end of this third row to the first repeat to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of the third row to the first repeat. I have seven stitches left. Now here at the end, I'm going to purl two. Now pass your stitch marker and knit five. And here's the third row to the first repeat with 84 stitches. Now turn for the fourth row. Here we're going to knit five. Pass your stitch marker and we're going to knit two, 
purl one, knit two, purl one. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. Here at the end, you're going to purl these two before the stitch marker and then knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this fourth row to the first repeat. I finished the fourth row and now I turned for the fifth row. In this fifth row, we're going to repeat the same thing we did in the third row. So here we're going to knit five stitches first. Pass your stitch marker. And here we're going to purl two, knit one. Purl two, knit one. Continue like this to the end of this row. Here are two stitches before you finish. You're going to purl two, then you're going to knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row to the first repeat. I'm here at the end of the fifth row to the first repeat. I have 84 stitches. Now here for the sixth row, this is going to complete the first repeat. Knit five. Pass your stitch marker and we're going to knit two. Purl one. Knit two. Purl one. Continue to the end of this sixth row. Here at the end, two stitches before the stitch marker, you're going to knit two, then knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this sixth row. I finished the sixth row. Now we have completed the first repeat. At the end of each one of these rows, I had 84 stitches. Now for the next four rows, we're going to do the same thing here we did here in the neckline. We're going to knit across every stitch. So like this, knit these five stitches. Pass your stitch marker and we're going to knit across. Knit the knit stitches and knit the purl stitches here. And we're going to do this for a total of four rows. So when you finish this row, you're going to knit these five, turn, and then knit across. At the end of each one of these four rows, you're also going to have 84 stitches. Continue, let's finish these four rows. Then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these four rows where I knit for four rows. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to start on the second repeat and we're going to do the same thing we did in the first repeat. So here to start, we're going to knit these five stitches. Pass your stitch marker and we're going to purl two yarn over, purl two, yarn over, purl two. Continue like this to the end. I will meet you here seven stitches before we finish to show you how we're going to finish this first row to the second repeat. I'm here at the end. I have seven stitches before the stitch marker. I have two purl stitches here. I'm going to yarn over for the last time and then I'm going to purl these last two stitches past my stitch marker and knit five. And here is the first row to the second repeat. At the end of this first row of the second repeat, you should have a total of 120 stitches. Now at the end of each row from here on for the second repeat, which are the next five rows, we're going to have 120 stitches. Now for the second row for the second repeat, we're going to knit five, pass the stitch marker and we're going to knit two, purl one. These repeats are the same. It's just that at the end of each row, we have different number of stitches. So you knit two, purl one. Knit two, purl one. Here at the end, you're going to knit two and then pass your stitch marker, knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this second row to the second repeat. I finished the second row to the second repeat. We're going to turn for the third row. Here we're going to knit five. Pass your 
pass your stitch marker, purl two, knit one, purl two, knit one, purl two. This is how you're going to continue for this third row. Knit one, purl two. Here at the end, two stitches before the stitch marker, or three stitches, you're going to knit, then purl two, and then pass your stitch marker, knit five. I'll meet you at the end of this third row to the second repeat. I finished the third row of the second repeat. Here at the end, I knit one, purl two, then knit five. Now turn for the fourth row, knit five, Pass your stitch marker, here you're going to knit two, purl one, knit two, purl one. This is how you're going to continue to the end of this fourth row. Knit two, purl one. Finish this row, I'll meet you at the end. I finished the fourth row to the second repeat. Now here at the end, two stitches before the stitch marker, I knit two and then pass my stitch marker, knit five. Remember that at the end of each row, the second repeat, you have 120 stitches. Now for the fifth row, here we're going to knit five. Pass your stitch marker, and we're going to purl two, knit one, purl two. This is how you're going to continue for this fifth row to the second repeat. Purl two, knit one, purl two, knit one. Continue, finish this fifth row, I'll meet you at the end. We finish the fifth row to the second repeat. Here, two stitches before the stitch marker, purl two, knit five. Now turn for the sixth row. This is going to complete the second repeat. So knit five. Pass your stitch marker. And knit two. Purl one, knit two, purl one. Continue to the end of this sixth row. Here at the end, two stitches before the stitch marker, you're going to knit two, then knit five. Finish the sixth row to the second repeat. I'll meet you at the end. I finished the sixth row to the second repeat. Now this completes the second repeat. Remember that at the end of each row here, we had 120 stitches. Now for the next four rows, we're going to knit across for a total of four rows. So here, knit five, pass your stitch marker and then knit across. And that's all we're going to do. When you finish this row, you're going to turn and repeat. Knit all stitches, and then do this for a total of four rows. So this part here. Continue, let's finish this four rows, and then I'll come back and show you the third repeat. Okay, I've only done two rows here of garter stitch. That's where we knit all of the stitches. I knit the first row, then I turned and knit the second row. I'm about to start the third row of garter stitch. I am going to add my second buttonhole here. So I'm going to be adding my buttons every 18 rows. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So to do this, we're going to knit 2, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, pass your stitch marker, and then this part here is the same. You just knit across. I just thought I showed you here how um, to do the buttonhole. From here on, keep track of your rows. I'm going to be adding my buttonholes every 18th row. So continue here, finish these last two rows, and then I'll come back and show you the third repeat. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth row here of garter stitch. That's where we knit 
for a total of four rows every stitch for every row now what we're going to do next is the third repeat and the third repeat is exactly how i showed you here i'm just going to show you the first row since that's where we're going to have a different number of stitches at the end so to begin knit five pass your stitch marker now to begin the first row to the third repeat we're going to purl two yarn over purl two yarn over purl two that's all we're going to do for the rest of this first row to the third repeat now when you finish here at the end seven stitches before you finish you're going to make your last yarn over then purl two knit five I'll meet you at the end of this first row to the third repeat. Okay, I finished the first row to the third repeat. Now here I did my last yarn over, purl two, pass my stitch marker, knit five. At the end of this first row to the third repeat, I have a total of 174 stitches. At the end of each row of this repeat, you're going to have 174 stitches. Now I'm going to show you the second row, but then you're going to finish the rest of the repeat. It's the same thing that I showed you here in the last two repeats. So here to begin the second row, I am going to knit five, pass your stitch marker, and then here we're going to knit two and purl one. So knit two, purl one knit two purl one that's how you're going to continue for the rest of the second row now finish this last repeat and then finish also the next four rows where we do four rows of knit or the garter stitch here just like we did here so continue let's finish the third repeat and then finish the last four rows i'll meet you at the end of these last four rows i finished making the yoke i completed the last repeat the third repeat and then i completed these four rows here of garter stitch where we knit every stitch for every row now the yoke is done it's measuring from here up to here it's measuring about 10 centimeters which is about four inches now what we're going to do next is we're going to divide for the sleeves so here i want you to place some stitch markers for each one of the front panels we're going to have 25 stitches so from here to here there's 25 for each one of the sleeves you're going to have 36 for the back side we're going to have 52 for the second sleeve 36 and for the second front panel 25. so front panels have 25 sleeves have 36 back side 52 so that's a total of 174 stitches at the end here of the last row now to divide the sleeve we're going to knit the sleeve first so here to begin i'm going to keep this marker here because we're going to knit the rest of the little sweater with the stockinet stitch but this part here is going to remain the same so we're going to knit five pass your stitch marker and then knit the remaining 20 stitches as well So I have 25 stitches here for this front panel. Now I have the stitches here for the sleeve. For the sleeve, I said I have 36. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to knit these 36 stitches. This is going to be the first row to the sleeve because we're going to knit the sleeves first. There, I've knit these 36 stitches. You can leave the stitch marker there. We're going to turn here, and from here on, we're going to slip the first stitch, and we're only going to work these 36 stitches. Like I said, we're going to knit the sleeve first. So here, I'm going to slip the first stitch, and I am going to purl across.
purl the last stitch, turn, and for the third row, slip the first stitch and knit across. These are the two rows that you're going to repeat from here on for the sleeve. We're going to continue with the stockinette stitch here. That means that you knit on the right side and purl on the wrong side and make sure to slip the first stitch just like this. Now I'm going to place a stitch marker here to mark the first row before I continue. That way I can tell you how many rows I'm going to have from here on. We're going to do a total of 26 rows here, so I'm going to mark the first row here. Now continue. Let's do these 26 rows, and then I'm going to come back and show you what we need to do next. Now, if you're using straight needles and it's hard for you to work these stitches here, then you can leave the straight needles on one side and just use another needle here to knit the sleeve. I think that's what I'm going to do. So continue, let's finish the sleeve, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm still working on the sleeve. I have done a total of 26 rows. Now for the next 18 rows, I'm going to use the slightly smaller knitting needles. These are 2.75. I'm going to do this, like I said, for 18 rows, and then we're going to uh, finish with the cuff. So here to start, I am going to, let's see, I put a stopper here on this end, and I'm just going to continue knitting in the same way here, just like we did this part. But using these slightly smaller kneading needles. Now this is optional. You can continue with the three millimeter size. This is just to shape the sleeve a little bit here. So I'm going to do it like this. Now continue. Uh, I'm going to put a stitch marker here to mark this row and then I'm going to work like I said 18 rows and then I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to make the cuff. I finished making 18 rows here with the slightly smaller kneading needles, the 2.75. So now what we're going to do is the cuff. So to do this here, it, let's see, we're going to slip the first stitch. Well, I've been slipping the first stitch. Now we're going to knit the next stitch, purl the next. So knit one, purl one. That's what we're going to do here. knit one, purl one. Continue like this to the end. I will meet you there to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row for the cuff. Now this stitch is a purl. The last stitch I'm going to knit. And here's the first row. Now we're going to turn. Here we're going to slip the first stitch. The next stitch I'm going to knit, purl the next, knit, and purl. And this is how I'm going to continue for the second row. Then I'm going to turn and then repeat the same thing. We're going to do this for, I don't know, six, seven rows. Continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do here. So continue like this, knit one, purl one, and I'll meet you at the end of that row. I did a total of six rows here of knit one, purl one. So now we're going to bind off our stitches. So slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch. Now bring the first stitch over the second stitch. The next one, purl. Bring the first stitch over the second. Next one, knit. Bring the first stitch over the second. And this is all we're going to do here. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished binding off my stitches. This is how it looks. The sleeve is done. Now, from under the sleeve up to the end here, the sleeve is measuring about 17 centimeters, which is about 6.75 inches. So now what I'm going to do here is we're going to seam the sleeve 
to form the sleeve. There's two ways. I'm going to show you with a crochet hook or what you can do if you don't know how to use a crochet hook, you can cut your yarn here and leave a nice long tail and then reattach the yarn here at the bottom. I don't want to cut my yarn, so I'm going to do it with a crochet hook. It's very easy. You really don't need to know how to crochet. This is how we're going to do it. Here's my last loop, which was left from my last stitch here where I finished casting off. So here we're going to fold the sleeve leg. This, this is the wrong side. And we're going to go right along the very edge. Remember when we were slipping the stitches here at the beginning, this here forms this nice edge here so that we can seam this part very easily. So you're going to go into the first stitch that you cast off right here right there insert your hook i'm using this 3.5 millimeter hook i would recommend that you use at least a 3.5 millimeter hook any smaller um, and this part here is going to not be too flexible so it's going to be a bit tight and we don't want that so find this last stitch i just did now grab this loop here and bring it through now we're joined and now find the next row. The next row is right here. You can see the V stitch very clearly there and the next row back here. Right there. And and grab a loop and pass it through that loop that you had on the hook. That's a slip stitch. Now find the next stitch here or the next row. Insert your hook there. Find the next one. On the other side, grab a loop, bring it through, and pass it through that loop that you had on the hook. Again, the next row, and the next row here. Make sure that each row corresponds. That way we're not left with extra stitches at the bottom, like this. And take your time. Make sure that this part looks nice, which is what we want. And the next row. Grab a loop and make a slip stitch. Make sure your slip stitches are nice and loose. They're not too tight. Make a slip stitch. This is how I'm going to seam this part here. So continue, finish. I will meet you here at this end right here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished joining the sleeve. Here's my last stitch. I counted all of my slip stitches here and I have 25. We had a total of 50 rows, so you should have about 25, 26 stitches for this part here. Depending on the number of rows, it should be half. So I have 25 slip stitches. Now what I'm going to do here is, before I continue, I am going to pick up two stitches on this side then i'm going to put this loop that was left from when we closed into the needle here and then i'm going to pick up two stitches here and then continue with the back side so to do this before i put this loop here on my needle we can remove the stitch markers we don't need them anymore at least on this side i am going to pick up a stitch here so we have the last stitch here and right in the middle we have this bar I'm going to lift this up like this let's see I want to make sure there's no gap so I'm going to go right there that looks pretty good and then I'm going to pick up another one right before this stitch here so let's see there's no right or wrong way of doing this. The important thing here is that we pick up two extra stitches. So I am going to go right here and pick up that bar. So now I have my extra two stitches here on this side. Now put this loop on your needle right here. That's my third stitch. So pull that yarn and now we're going to pick up an extra one here on this side and for this side i'm going to just um, grab the loop here with the yarn and one more over here grab a loop here with the yarn like this like that so now i have five extra stitches here this is the last stitch for the 
front panel here's the first stitch that i added the second stitch the third the fourth the fifth this third one is the loop that we had left from when we uh, closed the sleeve so here we have five extra stitches under the sleeve there is no right or wrong way of doing this the important thing is that you have five extra stitches now we're going to continue for the back side for the back side we have 52 stitches So we're going to knit these 52 stitches for the back side like this. And that's all I'm going to do. until I come here to the next stitch marker. So continue knit. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished kneading these 52 stitches for the back side. Now pass your stitch marker. And here we have these 36 stitches for the second sleeve. Here we're going to do exactly the same thing we did for the first sleeve. We're going to knit across these 36 stitches. Here's the last stitch. Now turn and we're going to now continue with just these 36 stitches for the second sleeve. Remember to always slip the first stitch and then purl across to the last stitch. Then you're going to turn, slip the first stitch and knit across. This part here is exactly the same how we did the first sleeve and we're going to knit a total of 26 rows with the three millimeter kneading needles then we're going to switch to 2.75 millimeter kneading needles which is what i did if you didn't change needle size then you would just continue for an extra 18 rows and then for the cuff we did a total of six rows and then on the seventh row we uh, bind off so that's how we're going to work this second sleeve and then we're going to seam the sleeve or close the sleeve uh, just like we did with a crochet hook or however way you decided to do um, that part. So finish this sleeve. I will meet you back once the sleeve is done to show you how we're going to pick up the stitches here under the sleeve. So make sure you do exactly the same thing we did here, including closing the sleeve just like I showed you. So I'll meet you back once the second sleeve is done to show you what we need to do next. I finished the second sleeve. I did it exactly in the same way how I showed you for the first sleeve. So now here, what we're going to do is before we continue, remember we have to pick up two stitches here so just lift up this stitch that's in the middle there's one now we're going to pick up another one so i'm going to go back here and pick up that stitch that's two now this loop here that was left from when we closed the sleeve just put it on the needle here on the right side and pull the yarn and now we're going to pick up two stitches here on this side here we're going to do it with the yarn so just go into any stitch here and pick up a loop and then into the next and pick up a loop that looks pretty good and we have five extra stitches now I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove this stitch marker and I'm going to continue along and knit these remaining stitches for the front panel here we're just going to knit across And here's the first row. Now let me turn the sleeves to the right side here. This is how it looks under here. Here's the first one. There it is, perfect. So now at the end of this first row, which is the first row for the body, I have 
a total of 112 stitches. Remember, each one of the front panels had 25 and 25. For the back side, we had 52. And then under the sleeves, we added five stitches, so that's 10 extra stitches. So at the end of this row, we have 112 stitches. We're going to continue with this number of stitches from here on, and all we're going to do is just knit one row and then purl the next. So here, the next row, row two here is a purl row. So same thing here, we're going to knit the first stitch, knit four, pass your stitch marker, and here we're going to purl across to the last five stitches where you're going to knit. And that's all we're going to do. Now here, I'm going to show you what you need to do under the sleeve. Okay, so here are the stitches under the sleeve. Just purl like this. I think that looks pretty good. Continue on for the back side and purl the rest of the stitches. Let me show you how it looks here under the sleeve. That well, looks pretty good. And now just continue along, finish this second row here at the end. Remember to knit these last five stitches, turn, knit five, or actually knit across, and then purl the next row, and so on. I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do. Now make sure that you don't forget to add your buttonholes, just like I showed you. So continue, I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the body of this little sweater. Now, I have done a total of 46 rows from here where we separated for the sleeves up to the last row that I have done. I have a total of 46 rows. Now, you can make this part longer. That would be up to you for the size that I'm making this for. I think it's fine. So far, it's measuring from the top of the neckline to the end of this row. It's measuring about 26 centimeters, which is about 10.25 inches. So now what we're going to do here is the bottom of the little sweater sweater. Here I'm just going to do a um, pretty basic uh, garter stitch. So I'm going to do a couple rows. This is how we're going to do it. You can also just finish the bottom here by knit one, purl one uh, here, this part here. That would be up to you. I think it would also look nice. I like the way that the garter stitch looks here and it's unisex. You can make it for boy or girl. So I am going to do that here. So let's get started. Here I am going to knit these five stitches and actually all I'm going to do is just knit across because the garter stitch is worked where you knit every stitch uh, for every row. So knit those five and then I'm going to just knit across. Now one thing I forgot to mention, I have added a total of, let's see, um, five buttonholes. My last one is right here. I don't think I'm going to have enough rows to add another one, but we'll see. Um, so all I'm going to do here is just knit across. Now when I finish this, turn and then knit back again across and that's how we're going to work this part here. Um, I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. It's going to look something like this. This is the same little sweater, it's just in, in a different color and the yoke here is a little bit different. Um, but the bottom here, this is what we're going to do. Um, the garter stitch. So I think I'm going to do maybe eight rows, two, four, six, eight, and then on the ninth row we're going to cast off our stitches. So that's how we're going to work this part. So continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I have done a total of eight rows. We have four lines, two, four, six, eight. Now we're going to bind off here. This is how we're going to do this. We're going to knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch bring this first stitch over the second. Again, repeat the same thing. Knit the next stitch, bring the first stitch over the second. Knit the next one, 
bring the first stitch over the second. And this is all we're going to do all the way to the end. You knit one and then you bring the first stitch over the second. Continue, finish this part, and then I'll come back and show you the finished little sweater. I finished binding off my stitches here at the end. I just cut my yarn, passed my yarn through that last loop, and then I just hid my ends here on the inside. This little sweater is all done, and this is how it looks. Here's the yoke, the sleeves, and the backside. It's absolutely beautiful, and I think it was easy to make. I don't know. Let me know what you think. So now let me give you the finished measurements from the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve. It's measuring about 26.5 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 15.5 centimeters, which is about six inches. This measurement here right across, it's measuring about 11.5 centimeters, which is about 4.5 inches. The length from the top of the neckline to the end of the last row, it's measuring about 28 centimeters, which is about 11 inches. And the chest measurement, just the top, it's measuring about 23 centimeters, which is about 9 inches. So based on these measurements, this little cardigan sweater is for baby boys and girls between 3 and 6 months old. But you can easily make it smaller or bigger, I'd say from a newborn baby and up to 3 years. Down here in the information box, I'll go ahead and leave some information on how you can easily make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Now, here's the same little sweater. Well, almost the same. The yoke here is a little bit different. I kind of like this style better, um, but if you prefer, you can do the six rows here at the beginning of just garter stitch, or you can also do the uh, ribbing here where you knit one purl one, just like we did here for the sleeves. And the same number of stitches and everything is the same. So there you go. The little sweater is all done. Now comment below and let me know what you think. I hope you like this little sweater and get to make it. Now I forgot to mention these buttons here. These are 10 millimeter size buttons. You can also use nine or 11 millimeter size as well. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.